Hey guys, I know, I look jaundiced, don't I? It's the lights, honestly, I'm absolutely fine. Nothing wrong at all. I'm not recording this in the evening because I've had another tough day of holiday with my kids. Of course not. Everything is just wonderful. Now, Love Island News. Has Joey secretly split with Jesse? He posted this video of him from Ibiza with his cousin Chloe while Jesse stayed behind in Essex partying with Ronnie, who didn't seem to be with Harriet. Now, if you ask me, highly possible they have split, or Jesse's been put on the back burner by Joey, but Joey hasn't told her yet. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Anyway, sadly, of all the Love Islanders, I don't really care much about Joey. I like Jesse, but Joey's never really a concern. And if it ends between Joey and Jesse, will any of us be shocked or surprised? No. But the others all seem to be rather quiet, um, as is the continuing trend here among this lot of islanders. They're quite a quiet bunch, so maybe we'll hear from them as the time progresses, or maybe they'll just fall out of, you know, circulation, and that'll be that for this season. Shame. But that's the way the Love Island cookie crumbles sometimes. Now, Casey, remember Casey from Love Island and Love Island All-Stars? He's in trouble because he put up a TikTok in which he mocked the breakup of... Tommy and Molly, and implied that the other Tom and Molly, you know those two who won Love Island All-Stars, are now the new king and queen of that particular Love Island crown for a couple who stayed together the longest and are probably going to get the best deals. Have a look. And the new undisputed most famous Tom and Molly from Love Island! Tom, Claire, and Molly Smith! Woo! <laughs> yeah, I know. You know. Casey's always doing this kind of stuff. But you know what? He gets attention. He, managed, guys, he manages to get attention on TikTok. The guy gets a lot of attention, but a lot of people are upset about him for this video. I think it's overblown. I don't think we need to make much of it. He's just getting views, and I suppose by doing this, I'm giving him views. Now, somehow, Davide... I didn't know Davide was in L.A., but he's been in L.A., and he's reported to the newspapers here that he has been robbed in L.A., which is very unpleasant. But the weird thing is, he says he's been robbed, and one million pounds worth of stuff was stolen from him. And I'm like, how old are you, Davide? How have you got one million pounds worth of stuff? I must be double his age, guys. And I don't think I own a million pounds worth of stuff. Assuming he relocated to L.A. I mean, did he have other stuff somewhere else? Is he really rich? A million pounds worth of stuff was stolen. Obviously, they couldn't have taken his house, so that means he was living in a house with a million pounds worth of stuff in it. Do you have a million pounds worth of stuff in your house? What's in there? A laptop made of gold? Shoes covered in the finest diamonds? What? I, I know, I should have pity on the guy. He was, he was robbed, but a million pounds worth of stuff? Davide, you must be living the good life. Well done. Good good for you. That's about it, guys. Not really much more to report. If you know of anything going on, let me know. But for now, I'm getting back to my evening's plans. Sleep. <laughs>